Malice. But what motive? The FBI says this man went to the Los Angeles airport intent to kill. Now they're looking into his background to find out why. Disaster in southern Texas. More rain, rising waters, entire lives literally washed away. Human clones, still the stuff of science fiction? He says he's already made one. And the death of an American icon, Ted Williams, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Good evening. Dan is off tonight. I'm John Roberts. We're learning more tonight about the Arab gunman behind the deadly 4th of July shooting at the El Al ticket counter at Los Angeles International Airport. But there is still a lot investigators don't know. Did he have any terrorist connections? And if not, what was his motive? The search for answers began in the gunman's home, as CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker reports. The FBI identified this man, Egyptian immigrant Hashem Mohammed Hadayat, as the gunman who went on the murderous Independence Day rampage at Los Angeles International Airport. The 41-year-old limousine driver was armed with a hunting knife and two handguns, one a semi-automatic pistol, when he shot to death a man and a woman at the El Al ticket counter, and a security guard shot and killed him. Besides terrorism and such, we're also looking at the possibility of a hate crime, uh, we're also looking in the possibility of uh, the person being despondent for some reason. Overnight, agents scoured Hadayat's suburban Los Angeles apartment, retrieving a computer, searching for a motive. Some neighbors described a quiet family man, others an angry man, especially after 9-11. His upstairs neighbor unfurled flags above Hadayat's door. He had a lot of anger. He had a lot of anger in America. He said there are a lot of there are crazy people in America. He had a lot of anger. In Egypt, where his wife and two sons are spending the summer, Hadayat's well, uncle well, says well, the well, news well, from America well, is hard to well, believe. I don't feel that he do that. But the FBI says he did, that he stood quietly in line and with no provocation opened fire. He was wrestled to the ground by a man in line and an El Al security guard, all the while slashing with his knife, then was shot dead by a second security guard. Waiting passenger Paul Parkas shot this picture. Thank God El Al security took him down or it would have been, who knows, because I mean, everybody, everybody was just laying out on the ground. He could have just sat there and shot away at people. But he had enough time to kill two. El Al employee Vicky Hen and Yaakov Aminov, an Israeli immigrant, at the airport to drop off a friend. And he's very sad. <laughs> we lost my brother long. He's a very good person. He never hurt nobody. <laughs> now, this international terminal is back to normal now. But this whole incident has sparked new debate about even more airport security. Los Angeles is considering a new plan to check all bags and check all passengers before they even enter the airport grounds. John? Bill Whitaker reporting for us tonight from the Bradley Terminal at LAX. Bill, thanks. The Israelis have long been world leaders in air travel security. We asked CBS News Middle East correspondent David Hawkins to show you how they do it. At Israel's Ben-Gurion Airport, the security checks start at the door, the car door. Armed guards look over every vehicle entering the airport. At each step of the way, you're being watched by uniformed security personnel and maybe that guy over there. Armed agents mix in with the crowd. All that before anyone asks you whether you packed your own luggage or tells you to open it for inspection, and before you get anywhere near the ticket desk. El Al, Israel's national airline, has its own security officers, like the one who stopped yesterday's attack in Los Angeles. They're rigorously trained for seven months by Israel's equivalent of the FBI, the Shin Bet. El Al spares no effort and no expense at maintaining its reputation as the world's most security-conscious airline.